So we have seen how to select parts of the model and we just saw how to create polygraphs. Now let's combine these two skills into selecting by polygraphs. So we got model open over here and look, you can look here I have turned on my uh, polyframe as well and you can see uh, there are different polygraphs over here. So uh, here we can uh, hide some of the parts based on the polygraph. You know to hide uh, anything you just have to press control shift and you know to select everything if i want to pre keep this one i just have to draw here okay if i want to hide this one control shift and alt and draw here so it will be hidden but as we have these polygroups on my scene okay so how i can hide or unhide well by using these polygroups so let's see now so so first let's see uh what kind of polygroups we have here now just notice the head of this dog and the neck of this dog are two different polygroups because this is a dark color this is a light color okay so that's where you if you're creating something like this so maybe you can undo and do a different color so you have to uh, you know both are not same as but in this case is basically uh, i don't have any issue okay so but just to tell you these are two different uh you can say uh, like polygraphs over here so now uh, what we can do here is that uh we can just uh want to select an individual polygraph so we will just press ctrl and shift and if i want this head to be selected so i will just press ctrl and shift okay and one more thing let me go back here and select the select rectangle because the lasso by mistake might cause some issues so control shift and then if i click on the head so here you will notice that the only head is there now you know well it's only the head which is appearing and if you uh, press control shift and click on this because this is the only thing that is appear, uh, appearing right now so what it will do is that it will invert the visibility so we are in, in an interesting mode right now. If we press uh, Control and Shift and click on any more polygroups, okay. So what it will do is that ZBrush knows that we are currently part of the model. Uh, the part of the model is invisible. The head of this dog is invisible. So now it is in a mode where Control Shift click on any other polygroup will hide that polygroup. Like suppose if I click on this one, okay. So, uh, oops, let me zoom in out. Yeah. So, if I press Control Shift and click on it, so it will hide that polygraph. Okay. So, now we could come through and hide any polygraph that we didn't want to see right now. So, uh, suppose if I want to hide this leg, I can press Control Shift and click on it, and this leg will be hidden. So, I can keep on hiding as I want. Now, we could keep going through this and hiding more and more of these polygraphs until there is only one left like suppose this this and now this is the only one left on my screen so now what will happen here is that if i press ctrl shift and click on this one it will hide that last one and bring all the others that were hidden and as always uh, you can invert this by pressing ctrl shift and clicking dragging anywhere outside here okay and what it will do is that it will bring everything back okay uh sorry control shift and clicking will bring everything back okay so bringing everything back to control shift uh in an open area will uh will do that and control shift and dragging will invert your selection so first you can see that nothing is there so control shift and drag will bring that set. so uh it's all, uh, often uh, sometimes confusing i also you know uh whenever i work on it so i get confused between control shift click or control shift drag so it takes a little time but you know you can always undo it and uh, 
uh, do with that. So you can see what is alternative and what is uh, the other. Thing. So uh, okay, now you can go ahead and press it with this one, and what you can do it. Uh, I know it is it can be a little tricky and it's not always very uh, intuitive, but if you practice it now, it will become second nature in no time. So if you have liked my video about uh, like selecting with the help of the uh, like uh, polygroups and uh, mask. So uh, please hit the like button. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. And also, uh, if you can share it with your friends, so I will uh, be very happy. I will be, you know, uh, more than happy if I will get a shout out. And I promise if you will help me to get more subscribers, more views, I will create more and more content. So, guys, thanks a lot for your support. And till next class, take care of yourself. And bye.